Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Devil May Cry. I am Accounting Nightmare and we are up to mission two. So let's get going. Mission two, Judge of Death. Now we have a uh, power-up option here. I'm just going to show you what that is. It's our shop, basically. We have the extra menu. In here we have a whole bunch of items we can buy. I'll go through them quickly. Devil Star. The Devil Star recovers your Devil Trigger Gouge, which you'll find out what that is pretty soon. Vital Star recovers your health. Holy Water kills the stuff around you. Untouchable makes you invincible. Then we have Blue Orbs. Uh, there's a certain amount of Blue Orbs that are only in the shops that you have to buy eventually. So I'm going to be doing that so I can get 100%. Then we have purple orbs. Now we don't have a use for these yet because they extend our devil trigger gouge, but we will be using them pretty soon. Finally we have yellow orbs which are the uh, extra lives that I mentioned last mission. And that's all we can get in there so far. So let's get going. Now, our mission is to open the door of the cathedral. Yeah, there's a shadow in here. He's trying to attack me from half the hallway away. I'm just going to ignore him. You'll meet him in a couple seconds, don't worry. I'm going to go in here for a second. There's a whole bunch of bugs in here, I'm going to ignore him. Maybe slash a couple. But I'm in here for this. Blue orb fragment. Also, we have this statue here. This is the Statue of Time. Uh, statue of Space and Time? I don't know. Something like that. It's the shop. That's what the shop is. Let's get out of here. Get some bugs while we're at it. Bloody bugs. Let's get out of here. And now the hallway's got puppets in it. But I actually wanted to fight a shadow so you can see what it was like. So. Go in, go out. Go away, pop it again. Ah. No worries. Fuck it. Let's do the Let's kill one. Ooh. These guys actually respawn, so there's no point trying to kill them all. Here we have a door, but it's locked and we need a rusty key. We need a rusty key. We had a rusty key, didn't we, Dante? We had one. What did you do with it? I think that um, Dante has, whatever Link has, somehow managed to break the keys as he uses them. Yeah, now what do we have here? It's a sculpture of a female in agony with a sword pierced through her chest. Wait, I can hear a voice. I am Alastor. The weak shall give their heart and swear their eternal loyalty to me. We have a cutscene. Yeah. So Dante, uh, in cutscenes, he can be, I mean, anything can happen to him. He can be empowered with a freaking electric sword, as you can see here. He doesn't die, but um, if I get hit by a couple of enemies, I'm, I'm going to die. That's not fair. That is not fair. See, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but um, I'm willing to overlook that because it's such a fun game. So he looks at the sword that's just empowered him and he goes, that's a cool sword. Wouldn't you do that?
Now you know that they must have had real fun making this game when you've got cutscenes like this. And that is our new weapon. Alastor. Gives the possessor lightning speed and aerial capabilities. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Alastor. 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 I don't care. It's one of the two. Now we need to get through here. That's what the mission objective was. It looks like it should be holding something, so we're going to have to find that thing it should be holding. I'm going to go in here quick. Here we're in the library. Try a new sword. Electric. It controls nearly exactly the same as the old sword we were using. It's got the same combos. But it's electric. So it's automatically more awesome. More powerful. It's got some uh, new moves, new abilities. Now this library looks pretty run down. Here we have a rusty key. <laughs> uh. And over here we have a prism. Shotgun. Very, very nice. Let's try it our new toy. Such a satisfying sound. Shotgun's fun to switch to every now and then. Very fun. Bang! Now under my health bar, you'll see I have three runes. That's my devil trigger meter. I gain access to that when I go Alistor. So I can now use my demon form. But not quite yet because I have to fill it up. You fill it up by fighting enemies. What's in the hallway? Puppets, I believe. Let's go fill up the Devil Trigger meter on puppets. If you talk right next to an enemy, you fill up some of your Devil Trigger. Or you can just slash them. Huh, he died quick. As you can see, the sword is quite powerful compared to its predecessor. I can run faster, do much more damage. You take less damage too. That's enough uh, toying around with that. Let's go through here. I used the rusty key. Ooh, okay. Put a timer. Let's use our new toy. Make and uh, kill some stuff. These are thin sides. Oh, <laughs> the timer is gone already. That was easy. Sin Sides are so easy to kill. You just shoot them with a shotgun. You just shoot them. They die. You can shoot them again. What do we have here? So I can't get closer to that yet. I need a sign to confront the lion. Ooh, there's another Sin Side. I might as well kill the path. It gives me some nice orbs. Easy orbs at that. As they die, their scythe comes flying down and they actually get hit by it. I'm gonna make sure they dodge. Do a couple more. One more. Ah, I hit it. There we go. Oh, it's scythe at me. Oh, there's enough toying around with those guys. Plus the start of the trigger. Can't be bothered with that. Now I can't get through here yet. Because we have to be accepted by the line. But we can't be we can't confront the line yet, so oh, break up here. I'm trying to shortcut this little area here. Ooh. They're throwing their sides at me, that's not very nice. No. Alright, fuck the shortcut. We're gonna take the long way. That's it. Stop chasing me, you bastard. That's better. 
So there's only one other way out of here, and that's that door up there. Oh, sneaky. So we're gonna run over here. Yeah, and there's our door. Now this, this corridor, I find it actually pretty creepy because on normal mode it's full of puppets. But on hard and Dante must die mode there's nothing here. And yet the door locks as if there's something here but there isn't. A little creepy. Now this, I don't know what the hell this is. This is where the guiding souls gather. I don't know what that is, what it's for. It's not used at any point in the game, so I don't know. If you know anything about it, let me know because I'm, I'm very curious. So open the path, use our strength to drive it back. I shall do so. Beautiful. Go down the hatch. And look who we have here. Staff of Judgment. That's exactly what we need to give to that uh, God of Death thingy jiggly. And that entrance conveniently opens for us. Very conveniently. But I'm not complaining. <laughs> We're back in the library. I don't have a lot of health here. I have to be careful. And oh. Uh -uh. The introduction of the Sin Scissor. The Sin Scythes, I thought these are a, uh, these are similar but different. They have scissors. They're hard, harder to kill. I have to practice getting creepy hits on these guys. You knock this scissor out of the way and you shoot him in the face with the shotgun. The shotgun is the best weapon for killing these guys, hands down. This is the last one. There it is. In the wall. Get out of the wall. Get out of the wall. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Normally you, you slash them to knock their scissor out of the way, then you blast them in the face. But that one just got slashed to death. That's pretty neat. And we can get out. Ooh, spiders. Let's squish them. Squish, squish. Squish, squish. <laughs> Ooh, one left. Squish. Excellent. It's a carving of the Judge of Death. Shall I use the Staff of Judgment? Yes. And it opens the door. And that is the end of Mission 2. Now, I actually wanted to fight a shadow in that mission, but no, none of them appeared in the hallway, so I'll just have to do that later. Oh, they gave me an S. <laughs> I wouldn't have given me an S. I got hit several times. No. Oh. I get extra orbs for getting an e uh, S rank. So I'll save the game now, because the next mission can be quite nasty. Next mission has our first boss fight. Make sure you tune in for that, that's going to be fun. <laughs> so hopefully I'll see you next time.